Sick and tired of spending three hours before your session in order to plan for it? Sick and tired of having to spend so much time prepping? Well, stick to the end of this video and I'll show you the four steps in order to improv your first D&D session. All right, let's get into it. Step number one is to quite simply just be relaxed and be open. When you're starting to improv your first session, what I like to do is I'll have a brief idea of what I want to do in my head or I'll just write a sentence or two down on paper. And then once I have that going and your players sit down at the table, just relax. Don't stress it. Just be easy. Be easy and open. And once you are open, you'll be able to find your creativity will just flow straight out of your head. Make sure you have a couple names on the side just in case you need to pick a couple in order to improv, uh, make your improv go a lot more smoother. Step number two is to just start simple. So when you're starting off the session and you're starting to, you know, get the wheels turning, don't try to do anything elaborate. Don't try to do anything complicated to get it all started unless you've already had that thought beforehand. Just start the session simple. Try to get it rolling. Try getting it towards that, uh, fulfilling that one sentence that you wrote before or the idea in your head. And then once you start simple, you can go on to step number three, which is to simply expand on your ideas. Once you've already started out simple and you have the basic idea of what's going to be going on, and once you have the session chugging and churning and new and new things are popping up, the players are reacting different ways, start to expand on that. Let's say the players find a particular item that you just kind of threw at them just because, you know, why not? Now that they, you have this item at them and they're like, ooh, maybe this is a magic item that opens the key to some door that we wanted to before. Yep, you're right. And just expand on it and just make it much bigger than what it originally was after you started simple. Now let's move on to step number so, step number four is to quite simply go buck wild. Once you've already expanded on these ideas and you already have a overall like chugging and turning once you're like 30 minutes or an hour into your session, just start going crazy. Start throwing things in that your players will experience with. Start throwing in combat encounters. Start getting a little more noodly, a little more uh, tricky. Maybe throwing a couple traps in there that you just... Uh, going off the top of your head now that you've finally gotten into a comfortable flow of the session and how you want it to play out now you can seriously just go wild and just throw whatever you want that it just fulfills your creative fantasies this is the best part of the entire session as you just will feel yourself be able to do whatever you want and have complete ease all right guys i hope you enjoyed the content i gave you guys today uh remember to subscribe for a lot more because i post content just like this for d New DMs just like you every Saturday at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. And if you really want to engage with a community of just amazing DMs and other storytellers, please go down the link below and I'll link, I'll, I will link, wow, I can't talk. I will link the, our Discord, Storytellers Paradise, where we all just kind of just chill and hang out together, answering quests of the day and just sharing out our ideas. And this guy just recently gave us a new monster that he made and that we're all able to steal and we're just all completing all together and you know it's just an amazing thing so please jump down in the discord below also follow me on my twitter while i'll attempt to post some other similar dnd s content i'm kind of terrible at that but you know i'll try at the very least i hope you guys enjoyed everything that you watched today please give this a like if you really like it and please subscribe for a lot more have a fantastic day and in a world without fantasy sometimes we need a little dungeons and dragons